Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle of Damn Fancy Creations, and today we are going to be doing another ombre gradient tutorial. I am going to be using a spray bottle today that I am going to be making for my hairstylist, Mel. She has done my hair for probably four years, and she has taken me to purple, pink, red, and back to blonde. So she has definitely had her work cut out on my hair and I just wanted to make something to kind of show her my appreciation. I did another tutorial on a pink ombre a few months ago that I um, completed using clear spray paint, but this time I'm going to show you guys how I do my ombres if I'm using the epoxy method. I typically use the epoxy method if I am using like extra fine glitters because I feel that the epoxy method works a little bit better with super fine glitters because it kind of stays sticky a while and you can always go back and kind of add a little bit more glitter if you see spots that may need it um, instead of continuing to, you know, spray clear spray and then add glitter. Uh, you just have a little bit more control with the epoxy. I still use my tea strainer, which I love for ombres because it really helps kind of, you know, just put out a little bit of glitter instead of trying to pour or sprinkle from your hands. You have a little bit more control if it's all contained in the little tea strainer. Um, I'm also going to be adding leopard print to the bottom. So I will show you guys how I do my leopard print with acrylic paint versus Mod Podge because I know we all hate Mod Podge. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a black to gold gradient with leopard print on the bottom spray bottle. And I really love how it turned out. So I know a lot of you guys struggle with ombre. So hopefully this video can kind of help some of you guys troubleshoot some issues that you may have been having. So if you are ready to see how I do this gradient leopard spray bottle, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is start with a prepped tumbler, painted white. I do this for all of my cups. And then I mix some black mica into epoxy and we are going to apply that to our cup. I decided to tint this epoxy black just to help give a darker background for the black glitter. I didn't want any of the white paint showing through any spots that may be thinner. So you are going to apply this all over the cup. Make sure you get the top edges, which I did tape off, and the bottom edges and the bottom of the tumbler. And then I smooth everything out with my finger just to make sure there are no spots that may be thicker than others or big globs of epoxy. And then I'm going to take my CCDIY torch and torch all the little bubbles out. And some spots you see aren't, you know, as fully covered with the black tint, but that's okay. You're not really going to tell the difference. So we are going to take gold glitter, black glitter, and a tea strainer. And this is how I apply my glitter. I just tap it lightly so the glitter kind of lightly falls out of the tea strainer. And I do this um, a little bit more than halfway up the tumbler or in this case the spray bottle. I also just kind of flick some glitter and that's how I get my bottoms covered. And after the glitter has soaked up the epoxy a little bit then I will go around the bottom with another layer of the gold glitter. And now we're going to do the black. And it's basically the same concept. We're just going to lightly tap the tea strainer and let the black glitter fall onto the tumbler. And then I will overlap the black onto the champagne or gold color. And then I will do the same thing. I will get some more champagne glitter and kind of cover it as well um, and go back and forth a little bit until I get the middle um, the right gradient that I wanted and you guys will see that the higher up I hold my strainer the more sparse the glitter falls 
And then I'll go around and touch up any little spots that may need it. And then I will peel my tape off. And once the epoxy has cured, I will go around and brush off any excess glitter with a paintbrush. And then I will apply a clear epoxy layer to the tumbler. And make sure to get your edges really well. I did not tape it off this time, but the way the bottle is kind of indented makes it kind of easy just to put a thin layer up there without getting it on the plastic part. And once your epoxy is on there and you smooth everything out with your finger, I will take my torch again and go around the cup or spray bottle and pop all the bubbles. And this is what it looks like after the first layer of epoxy. And now that the epoxy is cured, we are going to apply the um, leopard spots. So I use black and brown acrylic paint and black and brown glitter. So I will just squeeze out a little bit of black paint and brown paint and get a rounded brush and just kind of dab little brown paint spots around the cup. And once I kind of have them spaced out how I want, I will sprinkle on my brown glitter. And I like to use paint versus Mod Podge because the paint um, gives a little I mean, obviously it's tinted, so once the paint dries, it's still going to look brown underneath, and you're not going to be seeing gold underneath if there are any little bare spots. It will still be brown, so it gives it a little more coverage than regular Mod Podge. And I will just kind of take a really fluffy brush and kind of brush, brush off any excess um, just because I want the paint to adhere good and not, you know, be applied over glitter. So once that has set for a minute or two, I will start to apply the black. And I just kind of dab random spots around the brown glitter. You don't have to have it in a certain pattern. I just kind of make little dabs. And then I will sprinkle on the black glitter. And once you have the black around the spots completed then we are going to go in and make the individual little black swipes <laughs> you know if you look at leopards some spots are just black some are black and brown so just switch it up a little bit and it's the same thing I just kind of go around and make little leopard print patterns And then we sprinkle on the black glitter. And once this is dry, I will brush off all the glitter. I will spray seal it. I will tape the edge one last time and then put it on my turner for the final layer of epoxy. And here are some finished images of the spray bottle. I really love how it turned out and I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you troubleshoot some things if you were having trouble with ombres before. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch the next tutorial coming up. If you want more tips and tricks, be sure to find my tutorial group on Facebook. Thanks for watching.